More than two weeks ago, Constitutional Tribunal in Poland brought a nearly total ban on abortion. Since then, women all around Poland went to the streets to protest. Many cities around Europe organized marches to show solidarity with Polish women. One of such marches was held in Dublin. The city spoke with the organizer of the march, Ariana Yes. Basically, the idea came across when I saw that so many people in other countries, like mostly Polish people living abroad, were organizing protests as well in front of the embassies. And also the Friday that the protest happened was the day when basically everyone in Poland were going to Warsaw protesting. So I just felt like it's a great date for everyone to gather in here. In that regard, I organized an event and I wasn't expecting that so many people will show up, to be honest. I think that this is kind of important that it's happening in Poland, but it's not only Polish issue. It's basically the global issue. And like in lots of countries, you have right winged uh, governments trying to ban the abortion or already have abortion banned. You have lots of politicians from around the world showing that they want to support. There are five countries in Europe already that are trying to pass the law to make the abortion uh, for Polish women possible in their countries for free. So the same way as, as the, the locals have. So like you can see lots of solidarity with Polish women like all across Europe and all across the world. And, and I think that's amazing. The main organization organizing protests said out loud that this is not the way. Like we are going to the streets to show support. We are blocking the roads, like trying to show that we are and that we are fighting for for the certain cause, but at the same time, vandalism isn't the, the best way to pursue it. And regarding the, the, the speech, um, yes, it is vulgar, but I think that it's very important to notice that it is vulgar for reasons. I mean, um, because stereotypically women are being um, seen as like, shy, quiet and polite, behaving well. This is how our, we are being raised, basically. Um, and I think that using vulgar words is showing this power and this anger that accumulated for all this time. And I think that they shoot because they're angry. They, they are angry because they made them angry and they are fighting for, for their rights, for the future of their kids. This shouldn't be a discussion about the language, but about the reason why this language had to appear and like what impact it wants to achieve with it. Because of course, there are protests in like all around the world right now in front of the embassies, but because of pandemic, it's not always possible in, if you cannot be part of the protests. So for example, you can donate one of the organizations in Poland that is, that is fighting for women's rights or the one that is helping, um, helping women abortion uh, in a safe way, because that's the biggest fear that if it will be banned, then we will have this like black market and underground where they will be made illegally and it will put like lots of women's health on risk and even life. I think that the fact that we have internet and we can use it to spread the, the, the information about the situation and the problems and even to show how many people are gathering on the protests, I think that's something that motivates people in Poland to fight even more because they can feel that they have support.